And Stephanie Forrester, welcome you guys to the show. All right. uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, so right. what's going on? Okay, so my name is Dennis Stanbury, uh -huh. and I'm president of Mocker Village, and it's a 501c non for profit organization uh -huh. located in the Bronx, Boogie Down Bronx. Yeah. Um, and our annual um, street health fair is coming July 8th. Mm. And, and it's going to be an exciting lineup. Yeah, Haley, how did you guys come up with the name? Um, so my dad, where he's from, well, where my parents are from is Mucko, Clarendon, well, the Mucka Mountains in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. So yeah. the organization first started in Jamaica, and then we decided, we saw the disparities in Jamaica, but we also saw that there's a lot of disparities in the Bronx, uh -huh. and we wanted to, you know, bring health to the Bronx mm -hmm. and let people know about what's happening. So we're like, okay, let's have a health mm -hmm. fair here. Yeah. And that's how it came about. And then you brought on Stephanie, Steph Stephanie mm -hmm. Forrester. How are you? I'm fine, I'm from Jamaica. Yeah, woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I came on board because I think that it's a good in initiative. Uh -huh. And where the concept of mocha is from, like, you know what mocha means. Is that coffee? What? No. no. Well, wow. not the mocha, like, well, mocha latte, <laughs> but. You go get a cup of mocha. It's 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 a it's a area underserved area. Uh -huh. the, the the word the area a lot of people associate with underserved areas mm -hmm. in Jamaica. So we 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 mock of the organization. Our our old aim is just how can we help underserved communities? Right, right, right. Jamaica, yeah. here in the Bronx, wherever underserved. And I feel so that, that that's when you say Mocha Mountains. That's yeah, the underserved yeah. area. area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like. It's not necessarily, oh, it's not necessarily that it's underserved, it's the connotation. So okay. in Jamaica, like the area is not doing so bad, but people, once they hear moko, they think that you're stupid or you don't have sense or it's nothing good moment. comes from that. Yeah. So area. it's not mocha, it's moko. No, it's moko. moko. Yeah. Okay. So we use that name because we want to serve our, our, our main aim is underserved communities mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. It exists. Mm -hmm. And the Bronx of 62 counties in New York State, mm -hmm. the Bronx is 62, the last in terms of health disparities, the most yes. asthma rate in the country, yes. all of those things. Yes. So we feel that, that a health fair on the street in the Bronx would be a way of really getting the message across that how for, for pe pe people to access health care. Yeah. And you've been doing this for some time? Yeah, this is going to be the third, third. one. Mm. Third one. And you, you, when did you come to, to America? I'm actually an international student. Yeah, there yes, you go. I, am. I came here in August of 2016, uh -huh. and I've become a part of the Mocha movement. Because I call it a movement because uh -huh. the old Mocha concept, we need, we're helping to build those personals that have a mindset where, because it's Mocha and you know it's, it's, it's somewhat of low standard, so we want to change that concept, change that mindset, yes, help yes. to motivate and empower those personals. So, so a lot of people are learning in, a, in America, right here in the Bronx, mm -hmm. that Moco is like underserved areas. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, but well known in Jamaica. Well known. Yes, yeah. it is well known. I, you know, I've traveled to Jamaica a lot, and I usually go there three times, sometimes four mm -hmm. times a year. Mm -hmm. right. Reggae Sunsplash, oh, okay. Carnival, you know, right. sometimes just a vacation. Mm -hmm. And I never really heard the term, and I've been all through the mountains. I've been right. to Mandeville, Spanish Town, okay. uh, Kingston, and all that stuff. It's but the Mocha Mountains is or Mocha next Mountains on the other side of Mandeville. On the other side of Mandeville. Right. Oh, okay. So we're standing Saint right, right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. right. All right. So, so th this is you said this is the third time. This mm -hmm. is the third annual health fair mm -hmm. we are having on the street on 216th Street mm -hmm. in the Bronx between Bronxwood and Paulden Avenue. Yeah. Um, I'm a registered nurse at Montefiore Medical oh, Center. Okay, great. And Thank and you for your service. Right. And some of the the things we see in the emergency. I used to be in the emergency room. Now I'm in the recovery room. And um, some of the health disparity that we've seen, like yeah. patient coming, they don't, they have had surgery before, they don't know what kind of surgery. Yeah. Medication, they don't know what these medications are for. And just, and I realize the problem with the Bronx is, 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 the, is the knowledge base. How can we educate the population? Yeah. Because the Bronx, you know, as you know, 40% of the population born outside of the US. Yeah. So it's an immigrant community. So how can we, get these services 
on the street to let them know that these things can happen. So, so you started this, this uh, program to create the awareness. The awareness, yeah. right. So we have two so doctors. Yes. So, so what's going to happen? You get two doctors. We have two doctors from the beginning that started with us. Dr. Robert Plummer, he's a surgeon in the Bronx for the past twenty something years, yeah. and he is our medical director for this Bronx Health Fair. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Jenny Choi, she's a surgeon, weight loss surgeon, um, surgeon at Montefiore Medical Center. So they have been instrumental in helping us put this together. Mm -hmm. And then since we have grown tremendously, we have different hospitals that's on board. So like for this year, we're going to have Bronx, Lebanon, um, St. Barnabas Health so System. So when you say you're going to have them, they're going to be doing screenings? Yeah. They're yeah. going to be doing screenings. Yes. So yes. people who have for mammogram, Mm -hmm. The bottom of hospital, they're going to have their mobile oh, good, good, good. Um, to, do, to do mammograms and 20 or more patients. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Morris Heights doing free HIV testing mm -hmm. um, for people to come there. We're going to have Colgate van come for screening yeah. and whole dental van. You know, That's so good. It's, it's, we're growing and, and the awareness is getting out there because our aim is to, for others, if we can't do it, others to emulate our, the concept and take it to the parks, take it yeah. to the South Bronx, take it everywhere. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just to add to that, everything is free. All everything this is, is free, free of charge. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> everything. Yes. All right, so what do people come to your hospital mainly for in the Bronx? In the, in the emergency room, as the emergency room at Moses in, is one of like the fifth busiest emergency room yeah. in the Bronx and uh, in the nation. And, um, you know, a lot of people, they come from basic services and sometimes are preventable things that they might be able to sign up with, uh, with, their, with their private doctors and get screening and get continuous care. You that think people are waiting too long and then they, they have think to come a, to the emergency room? Yes, I think that's one of the major So with the screenings problems. and health fairs, mm -hmm. they and don't have fair. to, no line, no wait, just coming. Right. Check and, out and it's just while we're there, different hospitals and different departments mm -hmm. is to is to let people channel people into different services yeah. mm -hmm. that they can see, like Morris Heights. You can go there on a routine basis mm -hmm. to get your. And where can we go for more information? For more information, you can go to Mucca Village, muccavillage.org, mm -hmm. and you can call our telephone number is Vivian Christie. She's one of the coordinator at six four six four three one. Two seven nine two. All right, give them all a big round of applause, everybody. Dennis and Kahelia, Stanberry, and uh, what? You laugh, what? No, 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 I was clapping. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <Okay. laughs> that was a star Stephanie Forrester, the, the student from uh, Moco Village. The Moco Village people. Can we say the village people? Yes. Oh! Yes. <laughs> give them Thank all you. a big hand once more. Once more. Thank, Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right, thanks Thank for coming, much. right? And document what you're doing so you can come back and we can show it, okay? We will. <laughs> we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. We'll be talking about the Yankees.